How are you? All good. A very good afternoon. Good evening, rather, and welcome to the 46th episode of the Dr. Bhattisi Show. And welcome. I'm wow, very happy to be here. Amazing. 46 shows. Superb. <laughs> Thank. Thank you so much. So, doctor, can you please give us a brief introduction because I have a lot of questions to ask you. So, please, I would rather you know let you begin the show. Yeah. So, uh, I'm Dr. Manoj, and uh, I studied as a prosthodontist uh, about 20 years ago. A pretty long time. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And then after that, um, so I was doing implants. for quite a while uh, maybe 10 15 years i also launched uh, some of the first implant systems in india and uh, trained like hundreds of dentists over the years to place implants and um, then after that uh, you know i got a deep interest in technology so uh, went on to build uh, software products uh, mostly on dental side and like recently uh, you know we started did a startup which is uh, on the dental uh, artificial intelligence uh, side so uh, and this startup is is typically with like very young people uh, so so i'm getting energized uh, by by all the youth uh, today So the startup is called Toothlens if i'm not wrong. Yeah. It's called Toothlens. That's right. Perfect. So sir i would start from the very beginning. Which year did you take an admission in BDS? <laughs> so you guess. I you know did my research a little maybe it was 1997. Uh so i finished in 97. I, oh so, sorry so okay. it's 92 doc i was not even born no, yet <laughs> and which college it was a uh, government dental college chennai oh wow and which uh, now the next step is you wanted to do an mds at that point of time yeah i liked, liked because uh, the, the i wanted to to do basically advanced prosthodontics and all so oh, wow. stuff like crown and bridge even crown and bridge and uh, all those kind of porcelain which is routinely taught today uh, were not taught in bds uh, in those days so we were doing only dentures and i'm quite so that, sure very rare dentist uh, i mean prosthodontists were there at that point of time very few compared to today yeah but yeah even at that point of time we thought there were a lot of people actually yeah oh so, okay yeah yeah so um but it was it was a still a time when people were not bds we were still doing only complete dentures and okay partial dentures uh, in acrylic so so they basically nothing much i was interested in porcelain work and also i thought i should do in mds and you did mds uh, joined mds which year I joined two thousand one. Okay, and which college? Same college. Okay, okay, great. Okay. So, sir, how you uh, like? Then you opened up your own practice. Yeah. So after MDS, uh, I opened up a practice. I was also consulting as prosthodontics uh, to various other clinics, and uh, I also joined a college. in chennai called ragas dental college where okay. i was teaching um for a while um i was also consulting for some other companies like implant companies so soon i started to learn about implants and get trained uh this was at a time i remember even during my mds when my professor was placing one implant uh there were 15 other professors surrounding him to see how one implant is placed just right. one yeah. and he was like completely like a uh, what you can say uh, like a general surgeon dressed like a general surgeon and you right. know so that's 
so that was a time but uh, then then i had the good fortune to learn about all that and uh, then i started uh, placing implants quite a lot so you you are currently like uh, you were born in chennai and you are living in chennai right now that's right yeah okay i was not okay. born in chennai so, i was born in mumbai uh, oh okay but uh, i since i came here for studies i thought this is a good city oh wow wow that's amazing because uh, i am in awe with south indian with south india particularly oh you okay okay <laughs> yes. so so how you how did this tooth lens came up what has been the journey and what's like what does it do so um when we started thinking about this this was during covid period where actually people used to send photos of their mouth and yeah. uh, asking me you know what do i do i have some pain and things like that so that is the time also we were researching about artificial intelligence to see what we can do is it anything possible using artificial intelligence so that is when we so thought that you know if there's so many photos people are taking so many photos of their mouth so is it if it's possible to uh, analyze photos using artificial intelligence so that we can do a quick check an automated check of using the photos so we can analyze and see whatever is visible from the photos so that's how tooth lens was born where um, i got together with a group of engineers and then we started using photos and uh, you know developing algorithms uh, what they call it to analyze photos and come up with reports uh, like cavities tartar missing teeth uh, so this this whole whatever is visible on the photo so other than interproximal cavities um, almost all the other things are visible on photos right so um, all that we started to build uh, algorithms for that okay so sir is it in website is it an application is it uh, it's for the patients right yeah it's for the patients so now we give it to dentist to give it to their patients oh. so oh wow okay that's the way how we work we are not doing like direct to patient because oh. finally anyway okay. it has to be you know some right. patient has to see a doctor right. so it is better that that doctor um, see the patient mostly it is being used for you know most of the times um, when people call up uh, a dental clinic they say that i got some problem tooth problem i think i have some cavities let us say i think i need a filling right that's what they say and right. the front of it what they will say okay i will give you an appointment now this can be one filling two fillings 20 fillings we have no absolutely no idea what right. it is so when right. they see the patient at that point of time now the doctor has to decide what we have to do imagine if we come to know about this before itself exactly So that is what we are trying to solve what we are saying is this is for cavities i'm saying but it can get more complicated with complex yeah. like crooked teeth or orthodontic there are so many things uh, right. so we can plan for, for correctly uh, do that so, so uh, as of now like we are not uh, we are mostly like in developed markets because okay. that is where uh, there is lot of need uh, yes we are using in india but uh, Yeah. Most of our customers are like in US and oh. uh, UK. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Right. That's a good one. You are taking India to other places and not we are. You know, other countries. Ke usually we do in India. We follow the trend and we take their companies in India. But that's a very good one. And because it's very common problem. Uh, my staff, the assistant, gets a lot of phone calls. You know, this is happening. This is happening. What would be the charges? How can a dentist know? So this this gap, if is fulfilled by this application, it's an amazing one. Exactly, exactly. You uh, what you said is right. That's what we are trying to do. Um, at least um, you know if we can give some high level. Uh, like charges or you know dentist knows what right. is going on then they can analyze plan better and things like that exactly so sir it's a private limited company uh, yeah we are private limited company but 
um we are a us based company okay so, and uh, it's year of of uh, a founding would be like 2020 or 2021 probably one yeah oh but still in one and a half years probably it's or two years probably it's been quite a low uh, growth because i have heard a lot of about it lens yeah so we we have the relevant experience actually to take it to and anything like say you were able to get it what it does very quickly right so yeah if if everything that we are doing if if the end user understands quickly then obviously you know they tell other people and the word spreads pretty fast right sir so how has been your startup journey because being a dentist or a doctor we are never taught about even abc of business even how to open up a dental setup we are never never discussed this in our colleges so how the journey of a transition from a doctor to an entrepreneur has been yeah uh, it's been uh, very enjoyable but also very stressful so yeah so for me it is like uh, the time is short right we have to do something and we cannot uh, i couldn't imagine just doing the same thing that i did for the first 15 years doing it for the next 15 years i uh, so so it it became a, such a point of time that i can put an implant even with my eyes closed wow. so that was oh. such a routine thing so that was not interesting um, very much interesting for me anymore so yeah. so yeah. in terms of business yeah when you say so typically the way how what i follow is uh, that i try to learn from others so right. important to have few mentors who have already in business who are exactly in the software business so i have a few mentors uh, who kind of help and guide and then you also read a lot of books uh, to try to uh, understand then there are also accelerator programs uh, yeah unfortunately all of this is only in the software area and yeah you know, that, you know in software it's it's completely different than what we are used to in uh, dental area so right. in software like without a large without a team rather you cannot do anything that's yeah. how this whole industry works whereas here you know we know that uh, we you know we do whatever we can do right and yeah. then we get in people as and when needed maybe specialists or whatever but that doesn't work like that they're they are taught as something like a team only so yeah. these are the learnings for me um but uh, it's good the part it's been pretty good uh, in terms of i'm pretty amazed by the type of uh, engineering talent uh, so so my co-founders are engineers both of them okay uh, one of them is from iit uh, and uh, another one is from germany oh. so oh, wow. uh, so uh, the kind of hires that i see uh, and the kind of quality i think it's because of the good engineering companies that are there right and they are being like in india itself there are a lot of very good engineering companies uh, right. and very good engineering colleges many engineering good engineering colleges are there so either they get trained in a good engineering college or even if they are in a normal engineering college they come out they get trained in a good company either yeah. is so that's why the talent because without having a good talent you cannot build anything you cannot do anything right so you mentioned about books so any book because i do a, read a lot of books so do you recommend any uh, regarding business or regarding like your must read uh there is so many books actually like yeah, i read, I I read approximately like four books a month okay, uh, okay. oh god yeah so really, I, yeah the problem is i don't remember their titles uh, yeah yeah but i know like uh, there is a book on marketing by april dunford okay uh, which is about positioning your business uh, okay. but other than that for like generally for dentists i would say there are books uh, like basic books you should read uh, like um, philip kotler uh, is a yeah. great read on marketing right. <clears throat> so like yeah. a marketing guru, guru. Uh, yeah so we should read about that um, we should also read about some basic accounting books on mm. what is mm. income expense profit yeah. loss ebitda balance sheet yeah uh, you should know about that i think that is uh, important 
I think to begin with, there are a lot of things which can today the knowledge is like crazy, yeah. and there's so many things we don't know what to do. But right. uh, but I think this is uh, these these two topics and areas at least are good uh, to still we'll benefit if we if we do that. And not just yeah. business, I guess, and even if we want to buy a house, the financial part is really must because no matter what we do, we need money and to manage money, we should need to have a financial knowledge. Yes, 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 absolutely. Anything that we do, we need to have financial, right? I mean, recently I was in the US and contrary to what we think, they also told me that in their dental colleges also, they're not teaching them about finance. Oh, so, oh, oh yes. <laughs> so I was like, I'm very happy to hear that. At, so, at somewhere we are at par. <laughs> Yeah, at least at that level, we are far for sure. Where business and uh, financial things are not taught in uh, dental colleges. Uh, so there also, uh, I gave a talk actually to some of them uh, more on business side and uh, income expense. And this is something again like us, they learn out of experience. And we know right. that when we learn something out of experience, at least we will get hit for five six years. Right. Uh, sure. That's that's how the nature of experience is. So we should learn from others' experiences. That's my takeaway, not from our own experience. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, sir, what? Do you, how can a dentist work for you? I mean, for tooth lens. So a couple of ways. So we've uh, we've also hiring dentists uh, to work as annotators. So okay. annotators typically are uh dentists um who do some function around a technology called computer vision um uh, okay on um, on photos or images um uh, we coach them and this just needs typically a bds no no more experience than that that's not you it's okay. a work from home uh, completely suited for uh a doctor who probably uh um, you know, not know what to do, um, kind yeah. of a thing. You want to make so you will be surprised that many BDS doctors are actually being recruited by lot of Western uh, software companies. Uh, yes, they are. For their domain expertise in uh, annotation and computer vision. So, so that was a another good part that uh, because they did and they hired people here. Uh, you know, and they got their knowledge because of that. We hired them too. So, right. but we are hiring freshers too, uh, who have the interest. You know, there are a lot of, uh, you know, the women who are at home, uh, who are like who are not going to jobs for whatever reasons. Uh, right. But they have studied like five years of dentistry. Yeah. We don't want yeah. that to go waste. Yeah. So all yeah. this needs is a laptop and some time. Right. And, and that's it. And and the good part is that the money is far higher than you get by practicing a whole day in the clinic. That's another right. Uh, but that's the nature of the software industry, right? That the pay. Yeah. yeah. And 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 when your company is for the US majorly, so definitely, I guess that's a plus yeah, point. Yeah, that's why. It's, yeah. So it's been a while, a long time since I've also been thinking that you know I feel very sad when I see the women who have studied uh, so hard. Well, finally, whatever due to whatever reasons, but they uh, they don't actually are into their potential. Uh, so this is the best that we could do uh, in terms of um, just giving them that kind of. So it's in dental also, but it's in, because it's a software. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, you know it it gives them that advantage, like they can they can gain that knowledge instead of. Uh, you know, just doing some insurance work or, you know, some something else not yeah. related to dental. Yeah. 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 And I said now, now current situation we are living right now, I feel dentistry is not just about practicing or being a doctor is not just about practicing. There is so much to do just in dentistry, be it clinical, non-clinical. But if you're a dentist, there is so much to do. We cannot sit idle if we have the right opportunities and if we have a broad mindset. Yeah, I think stuff to do in dental is lot. So we should look at dental like how we look at engineering. So people after engineering 
they do ca they do finance they do uh they do mba uh, or they do engineering they are core engineers too so that is yeah. that is the same way uh, we are understanding about dental is that we have studied and we have that domain knowledge in health uh, and later what we do is can be completely different or interesting uh, and i am already seeing that uh, that lot of people are um, gaining lot of knowledge they are becoming like even startup entrepreneurs uh, but one thing is that like as a dentist the only thing that we are not taught which we should look at is like teamwork so oh. uh, so that is something a real change that we have to be if we change that mindset Right, that we need to work with people. Here we are always thinking that we are the boss, and we do things due to with that angle, and uh, that's why we don't grow uh, to that very high level. Uh, so we may grow individually, but it's not like we are creating some companies and yeah, uh, we are creating some great startups versus. That's what I see because I am on this side as a dentist, but. i'm also now full time like working with engineers and all that so i i'm constantly my mind is going why engineering engineers are only setting up big things and why yeah. they take up till uh, sitting in the clinics and uh, you know always frustrated yeah but sir we we uh, yeah we are sitting in clinics but we are relieving the second most painful thing in the world which is a tooth pain so everything has its plus and minuses but when you mention team work uh, i i watch a lot of thriller and action movies and a lot of robbery movies so the best team work i have ever seen is in the robbery yeah the the movie right and what's the name in netflix was that uh, okay they rob the bank i have where they rob the bank bank the of money spain heist. money heist yeah I've been binge watching so many again. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, something like that. I mean, I, see, what I'm saying is, I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying that certain things has to be done a certain way, but uh, whatever is your potential, we should at least try to achieve that to whatever extent. So I find a lot of like people right just sitting at home, not doing anything. And that is not correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You won't believe it. I think. over like six this is the stats that i got like i think about 60% of dentists who pass out don't do actually anything oh god yeah it's a very it's not even half yeah so sir what do you think is the future of dentistry in india oh my god <laughs> <laughs> where it is heading in dental uh, yeah single line answer it's got a bright future if you have dental insurance coming in oh wow okay and i do have few companies approaching it's not exactly dental insurance but they are financing the dental treatments so this is a beginning maybe a one step but it's a very i i got my answer you know in the us dental insurance came you have studied in the books from delta dental 100 years okay. ago yeah sir in india dentistry just completed 100 years in covid in 2021 probably and abroad it's 180 or 190 years ago but still we are progressing the our running rate is quite good so i'm very satisfied you know yeah i mean if you get insurance it will go to another level yes Definitely. oh yes mm. 100% so so what has been your routine like uh, I heard your prosthe routine. I know the dentist routine, but once you have entered uh, entrepreneurship or business side, and being a dentist, what has been your routine overall? So general general routine, day routine. Yeah. yeah. So morning. Uh, so now I have like very seriously started gymming. So okay. Uh, my wife and I we go to the gym uh, for about one and a half hours in the morning. i think uh, that is very important uh, if we are unhealthy with high blood pressure diabetic ob and all that it doesn't help whatever we are doing so that is also very right. important yeah so we are saying that we are like in uh, healthcare and all that but yeah. we ourselves are not uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. So that, that's that's I think today's uh, this thing that case is very very important. We have to so I take care of that. Um, and then I uh, most of my work today is actually on calls and computers and so it's like a typical uh, software uh, kind of. Uh, so I have calls almost throughout the day except a few hours in the afternoon. Um, try to stop work mostly by 5 5 30 wow. and then go for walks um, at least uh, try to get as much outside as possible uh, even by doing meetings i kind of try to stand and walk around mm. and they're not sitting around so uh, i'm considering a lot on uh, health also while developing uh, uh, and this is again I saw from dentists also when I like I used to see most of my professors not taking care of their health at all. Yeah. Um, teachers and all of them had all of them had even pretty poor teeth actually. Uh, uh -huh. so I, yeah, I used to do treatment for them. So I knew <laughs> that uh, they're not taking care of anything and all of them had uh, really obese, um, many of them. So I mean, there's no point in, in really doing uh, this kind of thing. So my, so basically, my this thing involves not just business, but also we should also take care of our health uh, as well as family time is also important. Yeah. Uh, whatever time, at least on weekends that we can get, I try to. Of course, my boys have now grown up and they're in college. Uh, but um, but even then, whatever time we try to get, uh, this is important because once the time goes away, you'll never get it back. Yeah. So, yeah that's 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 kind of my routine. And keep, and you read a lot, so it's food. one book per week. Yeah, mostly, and I also do like audibles in between. Yeah. So that uh, I mean, that's mostly like audibles and podcasts and all that. So that. Uh, yeah, just listen to whatever. So, so you are such a senior dentist. There is one question which I randomly have now that I wanted to ask, but I never knew such a very, very senior dentist. So till what age probably you have seen dentists practicing? Till about 80 years. 80 years. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. Yeah. And so, like, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, because you know, even after 15, 20, 25 years, after 25, there is there comes a point. Every dentist questions this nowadays. I have seen people who have just opened up their practice for five, six years, and they are like, "Jitna achieve kar sakte the, they have achieved the maximum. Now what? So this now what is always pondering, no matter where we you know reach. Yeah, that is there. Uh, uh, while um, Ha, achievement or practicing till 80 years, matlab, it's not uh, not the same. So yeah. people will practice. Yeah. I mean, it's not that they're doing very active work. Uh, yeah. They're still going to the clinics and doing some basic work, maybe assistance, seeing, doing some yeah. diagnosis, not like. Yeah. Uh, but uh, a kind of, I think you can be super active at what you're doing. Average I've seen till only about 60 years. I think after okay. 60, though, it's more or less. Your assistants are doing more and you're doing less. Yeah. Uh, but still, yeah, I mean, because the patients want to see you and this probably yeah. are uh, So you're like the kind of grandfather saying hi to yeah. everybody and uh, yeah, right. uh, seeing your dentist. But uh, yeah, your eyesight gives away uh, mm. typically also around 60. And you know, our dentists are not used to loops and all that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Senior people like my, so that again takes a beating most of the people by that time so the senior people like they 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 didn't have any of the gadgets that were there today right yeah so, uh, so we were all we started practice with mechanical chairs only so we were we were like kicking the chair and yeah. taking it up and down and uh, so many other things there's, there's no light in right. so uh, and the the previous generation like they were like uh, you know, they, uh, they were like rotating the chair to make it up and down. Right. You still find that in some of the colleges. Yeah. Um, so, 
so that's all very much you know taxing the back and, uh, and stuff like that so they don't uh, they cannot practice uh, very effectively uh, for a long time right so doctor my questions come to an end it has been an incredible insight session thank you so much for having your time with me and with us no amazing uh, speaking to you and thanks this also my like first instagram live so i'm glad it's yeah. a pleasure very good keep it up i think i think you're doing rocking work this is very interesting uh, i thank i hope you. your audience benefits from this yeah thank you so much surely thank you so much sir okay. wish you all the very thank best you. thank you you too see you bye thank you bye bye